the Intel i9-9900K. Why this could be the best music production CPU for masses. If the rumors are true, then this will be a powerhouse of a CPU with a reasonable price tag. And its high single thread performance will benefit music producers and live performers greatly. And did I mention that it is rumored that this CPU actually will finally use a soldered heat spreader that will significantly improve overclocking. Before that, Intel used some toothpaste between the die and the IHS, the integrated heat spreader that made terrible temperatures. And these Intel mainstream CPUs will still use the good old ring bus on Intel's Z390 chipset motherboards. For single core performance, ring bus architecture is better than mesh design, which is used in on enthusiast platform with X299 chipset. But these chips need to be priced at a reasonable price. And for example, for DJing, the future is into the music production and ability to produce music and manipulate the project that you already made live right there on the stage. And you need all of that processing that you had in the studio, but done in milliseconds. And today's VSTs, especially those who emulate analog gear, are extremely CPU heavy. Especially because a lot of the calculations rely on the serial processing. So they need the high single core performance. If we really want to raise the quality of the music in the electronic music live performances we really need a high performance cpus that can do a lot in very short time spans in that little time where i press the key on my keyboard i want to hear the sound instantaneously to understand how latency is related to performance of single thread in the cpu we need to understand buffering and what is a audio buffer so your CPU comes to process all of the data that's inside of your buffer and it can process quite a lot. But only for a short period of time. You can see that when you render out your audio, you can see how fast your CPU can process everything because it is not bound by the size of the buffer. Your computer's operating system schedules all the tasks in your computer and gives it to the threads of your CPU. And all of these tasks get a little bit of CPU time and they need to wait in a line to get again the CPU time. Your CPU moves from your DAW or your DSP calculations to do other things. It checks whether something is connected to your USB devices. And when it will finish this circle, it will come back to your real-time music software. And it will calculate all the DSP tasks that are inside of this buffer. If you have a larger buffer, your CPU can process more in a single go. But then you will need to wait longer for it to fill up. That's from where the latency comes. If you have a short buffer, you will need CPU assistance at a more frequent pace. So you see if your CPU's frequency is higher, it can finish the circle faster. Of course, cores also do matter, as they can split tasks, but not all tasks can be split. I can put just one synth and put some heavy processing on it. And each of these processes needs the result of the previous one, so they cannot be done in parallel. So for low latencies, it is beneficial to have processors with high single thread performance. High core count also helps because they can clean off some of the background processes like operating system services. And when you are mixing, your cores can process each individual channel separately. But if you will have a lot of uh, stuff on your master, it will of course uh, negatively affect the latency again and you will run into underruns. So with 8-core processor, like the i9-9900K, which is still in the territory of rumors, you will be able to stream and produce in the same time with relatively good latency. If you are doing a video work on the same computer where you are making music, it will also help, especially if you are working with 4K video. 8 cores and up is preferred. 
And did I mention that it will have integrated graphics as well? I mean, if it will have integrated graphics, then it will also be able to half, almost half, your render times in video editing. For example, if you use the Premiere Pro, because of its new ability to not just leverage your GPU's encoder, but also your integrated graphics encoder. And in music, you will be able to create larger, more complex projects with less rendering, freezing, project versions. So in the end, that means more music faster and better live performances for the music fans. I think that in this age of core wars, such a development is imminent. The only question is price, actually. And I really hope that it will be priced sub $400. Then I will definitely buy this CPU as well. So Intel will need to price this new CPU at very attractive price because it will go against uh, even the 12 core AMD processor that will run on the mainstream platforms.